this lecture we try to simulate one of the mechanical systems which is uh, most uh, likely most famous uh, it is like cruise control so in this tutorial I will try to explain uh, how do we build on the model of the car and how do we proceed um, after we have modeled the car then we will try to simulate the car uh, model uh, in MATLAB and Simulink so let's start um, we have this car we suppose that there is some force uh, applied by the engine which we will call u and there is speed of the car is let's say represented by speed is represented by v and suppose we say that the mass of the car is 1000 kilogram and we also consider uh, viscous friction coefficient, coefficient which means that the road the car will be traveling on there will be some friction friction coefficient and we take that friction coefficient is b equals 50 newton second per meter okay that is the unit of the friction coefficient so you may have seen that unit in your earlier classes maybe in your fvc or metric whatever okay so this b is the friction coefficient now what we would like to do in this um, tutorial is that we will actually try to write the equations of motion for this uh, body for this car and then we will take laplace uh, transform or you can see we will find a transfer function between u and v where you know u is the input and v is the output because we are uh, about to simulate cruise control cruise means speed cruise is actually for speed so what we are going to uh, to see is a model uh, with some input like you will have certain block with input u and output v and that model needs to be the laplace transform so we will have a g of s we need to find that and in the third case in the third step what we are going to do after we have done uh, the modeling after we have con converted into transform function then we need to use matlab matlab and um, simulink also to find the velocity response we will try to find the velocity response when the input is 500 newton uh, and after t equals zero so that means we will have to find the response of the system for a particular input okay so let's begin let's start writing the first part that is write equations of motion we will consider this example here you can see we are now uh, denoting <coughs> this um, car by a model which is shown here you can see this um, is the mass of the car with the engine force in the forward direction and the friction force in the backward direction and this uh, these are giving us the reference displacement you know this axis representing displacement and this x with double dots represents acceleration uh, okay going further now we will uh, try to achieve what this is position and this is velocity b x dot the x dot is velocity and x double dot is acceleration and now we are we know that sum of forces is equal to mass dot acceleration which means the sum of forces should be equal to m a okay so we are now writing m a instead of acceleration i will be writing x double dot x double dot you can, as you can see here and some of forces some of forces on this body is actually one is in this direction positive direction and the other one is in the negative direction so that b x dot is in the negative direction so we'll be writing it negative and then u is in the positive direction so we are writing it positive then we add these two up we are adding these two up to form the sum of forces okay and that should be equal to m x double dot so you can say u minus b x dot is equal to m x double dot or you can simply write m x double dot plus b x dot equals u and then you can take this uh, m out like you can divide both sides by m so you will be left with x double dot plus b by m x dot equals u or m okay so this is what we are going to see here uh, this is the model of the um, uh, complete model in time domain now this is the derivative you can see this equation is in x and the input which is u okay so this is a kind of um, uh, you can also use that state space model but we are not going there because we have to uh, consider the transfer function 
so let's take the laplace transform so for that you can also write this in terms of velocity because x double dot is actually acceleration so we can say rate of change of velocity v dot is actually uh, x double dot and x dot is v so we can replace x dot by v and x double dot by v dot and then you can write in the alternate model in terms of velocity also okay now uh, going further um, we can uh, proceed this this is the equation of motion that we'll be using uh, now we are going to find the Laplace transform in order to find the transfer function so for that we will be taking the Laplace of the uh, of the uh, you know of the equation that we have derived so let's wh what we'll be doing is we'll be applying this very simple rule this um, very simple rule um, which is when we have a derivative variable we will have l v dot is equal to s of l of v minus v of zero if you have l of v double dot then you will have s square l of s or you can say l of v and minus v dot of zero minus v of zero something like that uh, but we since we have single derivative so we will be considering this formation this is from the table of the formula that we have seen in um, maybe in uh, earlier lectures you can find that in in your second chapter uh, chapter of the book normal noise and now we have l is representing the laplace transform so let's see uh, how do we um, ultimately get the laplace transform so once we do that uh, we apply the laplace transform what we are going to get is this thing we are reaching here you can see s v s minus v of 0 plus b over m v of s or equals u of s and divided by m right after that um, we, de we define the laplace transfer function is the output of s and divided by input of s this is what we know right with the initial zero initial condition this is important so if you apply initial zero initial conditions this thing will vanish up so you will be left with s v of s plus b or m v of s equals u of s over m so this is what you actually would get going further so we have now written it in this form and after simplification we can write it in this form also v of s which is the output in u of s which is the input so we have the transfer function written here this is the transfer function that we wanted to write so we are actually done with that and now we are in position that we have ultimately modeled the system in the form of a transfer function so now you can actually see that you have a transfer function which is uh, represented by uh, some numerator or denominator and the input being u of s and the output being uh, v of s and the transfer function inside is 1 over m divided by s plus b over m right this is what we wanted to do and we ultimately uh, reached here okay now the third step is left that we are going to see is we need to write the matlab used to matlab we need to use matlab to find the velocity response when the input is 500 so um, for that we will uh, be using matlab simulation the first method that we will be using is we will be using only math matlab we will not be using any simulink in this uh, version so the first version is completely done through matlab so if you want to achieve or you want to simulate only using matlab this version is for you okay so this is the command window of a matlab maybe this is an older version but the same more or less it is the same in the newer versions also so you can go for that this is command window you can write your commands here directly and uh, execute them we know that we have a transfer function like this we know the denominator we do know the numerator so what i'm going to see i'm going to define this m b uh, these are constants so i need to define them we know that m is the mass of the car so that is 1000 kg we just wrote m is equal to 1000 kg if you put a semicolon after 1000 you will suppress that and you, it will not be uh, shown on the screen after we uh, press enter but if you uh, do not put semicolon it will uh, show up when you press enter okay similarly b is equal to 50 50 is the input uh, friction that we had already considered in our first slide you may go back and find that um, now we already defined these two 
So we can now use uh, this num is equal to 1 over m because we have already defined m. So num is equal to 1 over m and num is equal to this thing. And we also write denominator, denominator which means 1, 1 uh, because we have s, the coefficient of s is 1. So I'm writing here 1 and the coefficient of s power 0 is b over m. So the order must be uh, whenever you write something like denominator and matrix form the order must be like this okay if you have a higher order you must start from there suppose if you have high order you must start like this but you should write the coefficients of s square s1 and s power 0 now here in this case the coefficient of s power 1 is 1 actually here from this expression you can see it is 1 and the coefficient s power of s power 0 is b over m so i'm writing 1 space b over m okay then you may put semicolon or if you don't want you can um, display that uh, denominator here now we have done that so we will write another command which we will say that transfer function system sys is tf tf is stands for transfer function 500 multiplied by num denum which means that you have numerator multiplied by 500 because you wanted to um, you wanted to know the response of the system for uh, for for a step of 500 so that is why you have written 500 in numerator okay so that is the transfer function now after that um, <clears throat> what we are going to do is we need to write step s because we need to find the step response of the system we will write step system because we have defined system in sys so step system will generate this kind of response which shows that the output reaches the output which means the response reaches this value 10 okay um, and it is starting from 0 after certain amount of time maybe you can say after this much time it is reaching almost the final value okay and why it is that because we know that already know that the step system is already like you have you know the system is having 500 numerator or denominator something like this right then when you are saying step step of system that means that you have to apply a step input to the system okay and step input um, if you apply some step input for a particular step a particular uh, amplitude you know then it will um, be used here this 500 will be divided by 50 in that case and you will get 10 so the input final value will be 10 okay and it is shown here similarly you um, now um, we know that step response is the output of a system when the input is a step function this is what we know already right if you have a step is an input to a system the response that is generated is, is called step response okay and step is defined uh, which you already are aware of step is a, a constant function which has certain amplitude and if it is one then we say that it is a unit step okay if that amplitude is equal to one and it is uh, independent of time it has um, like constant value irrespective of time it doesn't change okay and if it is equal to one then we say it is a unit step this is what we important this is what is important the unit step is used in matlab used in matlab like this step you have to write step sys which means that the input that will be applied to a system will have a unit amplitude this is what it means okay now we are using version 2 second matlab simulation in this case we will be using um, simulation by using only matlab without simulating by creating and running an m file okay we will be actually writing uh, the code in a script in a file which we will call m file and then we will actually run or simulate that code from there so let's go there and uh, see how do we create that so first we are creating a directly and directory um, but maybe if you don't want to create a directory it's you can skip that step 
okay uh, you may browse that directly from here and open it from here uh, or maybe um, you can reach it there somehow but if you don't want to you can skip these steps just skip these steps okay do not uh, don't take panic with these texts but this new m file must be created this is the step this this, should, this, this could be your first step also uh, the rest were optional so you can open a new file and then you can start writing the program here and in the program you must write what you must write a comment uh, the name of the file which means car cruise control system and then use to simulate the car dynamics then and plot a step response this is what is the objective of the program you must mention that objective you must make a habit of yourself to create uh, this uh, introductory three lines comments and comments are done actually by writing person sign in matlab so that um, you can even also mention date when you have written this code and your name okay so that you can realize the time uh, when um, uh, you had written that code okay so let's uh, now we will first define the plant parameters uh, first is m is 1000 kg b is 50 now we are putting semicolon everywhere num is 1 over m dnum is 1 over 1 uh, space b over m and then we are writing transfer function tf 500 into num or comma dnum space and then we are writing simulate and step response then we are writing step sys okay this will generate the same output as we had seen earlier and you when we are running this uh, maybe you can run there is some a play button in this uh, you know in this uh, file when you do that it will prompt you to save the file first so you must save the file and then maybe another when you uh, when you run it again another file may come up uh, that uh, this file is not in the current directory so you uh, should add up add the path there will be option add path or change folder you must apply add path and then proceed with that okay so the first step that you will do after running this code after uh, when you run this code there will be a play button green play button in the newer version of MATLAB you click that when you click that you will be prompted by a window that will ask you to um, uh, give it a name to save the file so you must give it a proper name and save it somewhere anywhere okay and then when you play this button again there will be another prompt that will show that the current file location is not in the directory so you must add the path so there is an option add path add path there is another change folder okay something like this will happen so you will, you will click on aid path once you do that the simulation will start running and you will see this result okay and you will see the, in, in the command window you will see the na name of the file with which you have saved it okay and the result will be displayed to you now we will see the third version in which we will be using matlab along with simulink along with simulink okay so how do we do that let's do that you can do that with the um, with this process also you can create a folder somewhere maybe you can say step response car cruise simulink because this is a simulink model involving simulink model and then um, you can actually um, browse for this folder and uh, when you reach there you just double click that okay and uh, okay uh, after you press ok you will be uh, um, uh, you will be here in this code okay so what are you going to do is you have now um, defined some parameters car simulation car cruise simulation sim then used for parameter initialization of car dynamic simulation simulation parameters are you have step time step time means um, simulation uh, will run in steps so you have to uh, specify the step time and stop time also Wh when do you want to stop the simulation so you write 120 then you plant parameters are m and b and then force that you wanted to uh, see the output for that is 500 okay after that you save uh, you go to the model you go open the simulink go to the model um, and start uh, or click on this button you will actually be uh, faced you will face this window or this prompt here you can go uh, and uh, see this continuous tab in continuous tab you will have different uh, blocks you have to pick, pick, 
you have to pick this transfer function block and drag it to the window uh, the untitled uh, so far it is untitled but you can later on change its name uh, so you will drag it here when you drag it here you can double click on this uh, block and change its parameters you can see numerator coefficient it is just one and denominator coefficient is one over one one default value you will change that because you have already defined m uh, b uh, etc so you can write one over m and one bm in this uh, window and apply ok click apply and ok here and then once you do that you will see the changes that you did in the block as you can see here okay then you will pick this clock and bring it here then you will pick this step and bring it here then you will pick this sim out to workspace you will bring it here now you have everything in the um, window so what you are going to do is you have to change this uh, step double click it and when you double click it you will have default values like like this step time is one uh, initial value is zero final value is one but you have to change that what you have to do step time should be zero initial value should be zero and final value should be force because you have already defined these things okay okay then okay click okay then you click on sim out when you click on sim out you will be you will face this window the initial one uh, this window you have sim out just give it a name just give it a name speed okay change its name to speed you have infinity here you keep that infinity okay and decimation is one we don't have to change that uh, sample time is minus one we also don't want to change that and then you have a structure here note that you have a structure here and you will have to click on this uh, scroll uh, down you can see that and select array you can see array and once you do that apply ok after applying you will have to go to this block will convert to speed you can see you just copy uh, click on that one and make a copy of it so you will have two variables now speed one and speed and click on speed one and give it a name uh, another name which is time we will replace it by time the rest is exactly the same we don't have to change anything right we have just to uh, press ok now it's the time to connect these blocks now we can see that we have connected this block this time block is connected here okay then we are giving an input to the system and the output is shown here right you can see we have connected it like this after that now we will go to simulation it you will see simulation here then you go there configuration parameters click uh, click on configuration parameters and once you do that you will have start time and stop time okay you will notice this start time and stop time variable step and these things what you have to do is you have to select a fixed step instead of variable step in the previous slide it was variable step you have to click on this uh, scroller and select fixed step fixed step when you say fixed step the window will change to this situation and then you go you can see that here we have ODE 45 ODE 45 selected click on this scroller and then select ODE 1 okay ODE 1 this is this one is actually the default window default window that you will be seeing but once you select fixed step you will be seeing this kind of window and you have to say a fixed step size and that you have to write step time okay step time and the stop time you have to write stop time okay because these are the variables that we have already defined in our uh, m file if you remember this will be auto keep it auto and then click apply and ok once you do that you will have a kind of this setup then you have to save this model save is uh, save is uh, and give it a name something like car model dot mdl whatever your xlx uh, in today's simulic uh, models are saved in xl xlsx i guess so some kind of file name will be generated when you save it okay now you are done now what you have to do is for simulation first you have to run the m file which was car quiz sim dot m 
because before showing me running the symbolic model you must run this file because you need to initialize the parameter for initialization you must run this um, m file and after that you have to click on the simulation of the car model and then um, the plot response by a command matlab okay so we what we did we actually car quiz sim we actually simulated or run the uh, uh, m file which appears on the command window like this then we have to start the simulation uh, where you can see start here or maybe you can have a play button there you can do that uh, wait for uh, the time until it it runs after that you have to write plot time speed okay so after you do that you will generate the same graph that you did in your earlier simulations you can see that it is exactly the same okay we enhance this plot with axis labels axis settings and a grid now what we want to do is you know, after we have plotted this we can uh, increase its uh, aesthetic uh, aesthetics of this graph by using different command we will be using x label time s so when you do that it will show this on this uh, time axis and y label speed and meter per second which will be shown on the y axis and then x axis axis x is the command 0 to 120 minus 2 to 12 you can see it will show the axis x axis from 0 to 120 and then the y axis will be shown from minus 2 to 12 which is shown here so this is how and then grid if you say grid this will show this grid also this square squared picture <clears throat> What if you want to plot the input to the transfer function too? What if you want to plot the input also? What we have to do is we have to save another variable. Uh, we have to take a copy of this and save it in this uh, like u or you could give it some name. Okay. Like this is input. We just created a copy and gave it a name input. You double click on that. You will have to change the time to input or speed to input. <coughs> Then when you do that, uh, you have to change the code also. Um, like in the command window, you can say you have to plot uh, time speed, x label, y label, x axis, and then figure you have. You can say plot time input, uh, time force, and then the axis. Exactly the same. So you can see the, in this figure, uh, figure two, the input is plotted, and in the output figure, figure one, the output is plotted. The step response is plotted you have another plotting option uh, like you can um, do using a sub subplot option subplot is also there so you can say 211 uh, in the sub first subplot you can uh, plot the um, time speed graph and in the second subplot you can actually plot the input time graph okay so you can say in the first subplot you have output and the second subplot you have the, um, the other thing the input okay now you can see um, what we uh, our simulation our simulation procedure is like this we need to have m file then we have uh, simulation file and then we plot the using command window okay but what could be the more um, automated way we need to write in a single file because that is a cumbersome process the previous process is a cumbersome one so what we do we have a single file car cruise.m where we have simulation parameters you can see here step time stop time and plant parameters force and then we say sim we can write car model dot that means we need to write the name of the simulic model here and use command sim okay and then uh, after that is executed we can use the plotting options here these are the plotting options we can say subplot command uh, it is exactly the same as we saw previously and it will generate the same result you can see this is the zoom version of what we are going to do um, here you can see you can also add clear all close all because this will actually clear the command window and the workspace before you do anything um, then uh, we have solved our simulation task through
to different ways i hope you will have learned something and i guess you can use this uh, procedure in your uh, assignment also you can do the coding and properly label the code and properly use proper comments so that we can um, uh, so that anyone who actually sees your code can understand that thanks for